While most eyes were fixed on the conclusion of the Giro d'Italia, among the stunning fjords of Norway, you could find some of cycling's biggest names not involved in La Corsa Rosa. The Tour de Fjords, a product of cycling's burgeoning success in Norway, is one of the fastest growing races on the UCI's European Tour. Its notoriety among riders and teams has grown with the success of a man raised among the rolling landscape of the fjords, Alexander Kristoff. A Norway's leading man returned once again to head the peloton of this year's event with a number of other World Tour stars. One such name was Fabian Cancellara, on the comeback crowd from injury and finding himself in totally new surroundings. It's a great atmosphere on the road. I mean, uh, a lot of Norwegian people, I mean, well, they're, they're supporting the whole race and, and it is good because also Norwegian cycling is growing and that's also why there's people on the road even more than, than maybe years ago. Of course it's something special riding around the fjords. That's the beauty of, of, of this sport that even after so many years I've found something still new. The presence of the likes of Cancellara and Christoph is a major profile boost for a tour in just its third year as a stage race. It also provides the ideal platform for organizers to expand the race in the coming years. The first years now it's really important to have the biggest stars and that we as a 2.1 race uh, can have Cancellara on the start uh, and, and Christoph and Boasenhagen and uh, yeah, Trek and Orca, it's, it's one of the biggest teams. We also see it from um, the media abroad of uh, Norway uh, covering the race much more than it would do if we didn't have this peloton. By bringing some of cycling's best to a region that rarely features in the Tour of Norway, the race through the fjords is meeting a growing demand for cycling in the country. What happened the last 10 years is just um, unbelievable. Uh, 10 years ago when I started, said I was a cyclist here, here in uh, Norway, people looked uh, in a funny way in me and they had, they had no idea. Uh, and then um, uh, Norwegian TV2 started to show Tour de France and uh, at the same moment the Tour de uh, started there and uh, suddenly people were uh, sitting in the whole summer watching uh, Tour de France. The Tour de Fjords builds on this legacy by bringing the race to places never before touched by the excitement of elite cycling. The commune of Yondal, populated by a little more than a thousand people, sends the tour off on day two in its own unique style. As well as a picturesque backdrop, Western Norway presents a chance for an array of stage profiles of future events. It's not just into the fjords, just not into the, um, to the city, but uh, with a uh, variety of of uh, landscape so we want to have a race that uh, combines all those things and the plan now for 2016 or 17 we will also uh, get a more hilly uh, race uh, one of the stages maybe have a mountain finish for now though this year's edition of the tour de fjords is a relatively flat affair much to the delight of his ever-present fan club it proves to be the perfect ground for alexander Kristoff, with the home favorite storming to the first three stage wins among his lead out is protege Sven Erik Bistrom. Born and raised in Haugesund, the finish for stage two, the Tour de Fjords has an extra special importance. It's like a, a dream coming true actually to, to ride for a World Tour squee, a team and, uh, and ride into my own hometown like, like today. And uh, yeah, it was like, if I, I think, think about this, when I was 12 years, 12 years old riding for a local club in, uh, in my hometown, it was, yeah. I would not think it was, could be possible. Bistrom first announced himself at the top level in fine style in September, winning the under-23 World Championship in Ponferrada. Although now within the Katusha ranks, working for Christoph and with a raised profile since he competed in last year's Tour de Fjords, for Bistrom, the pressure is off. For the team, uh, it's of course uh, important to, to win, but yeah, Alex is the, is the leader and uh, also one of the best uh, cyclists in the world, so he's familiar with the, with the pressure but for me it's uh, almost no pressure they they just want to make me develop in the team and uh, and uh, help as good as I can and uh, that's what I do. To add to Christoph's stage wins Katusha's Marco Haller found time gaps to clinch the general classification capping off an excellent five days for Bistrom's new team. Despite intermittent weather at times it's another year where the event has grown in stature with plans for expansion next season, the Tour de Fjords looks set to become irresistible for top riders and teams. We 
we we take a step every year now, and uh, all the people working around the race, uh, they are doing this for free, and uh, they just want to make show cycling for the population and and have this, uh, and, and and that's quite unique. So. Um, and I think that's uh, a key factor to to to, uh, to really uh, get even bigger uh, for the for the next years.